I have a giveaway going on at the moment for Anthem the Game to celebrate reaching 3000 subs. To be in with a chance to win, simply click on the link in the description below for ways to enter. Good luck, and now on with the usual broadcast. How's it going guys? So today we have a new video for a new game, it's Apex Legends and if you haven't been living under a rock, it's Respawn and EA's new title and new venture into the Battle Royale. With a lot of competition out there from PUBG, Blackout and Fortnite especially, can Apex Legends do anything that is actually unique to make it into the fold? And the answer is yes. In fact, Apex Legends has quickly become my favourite battle royale and that's not an understatement. So this is going to be my impressions video for Apex Legends. Let's start with the good. Apex Legends has a roster of around 8 characters, two of which you'll need to pay in order to unlock or earn in-game currency to unlock. The better you do in-game, the more currency you get, the more currency you get, the faster you get to unlock. So skill based here is the key in order to unlock things faster. If you suck like I do, then GG, good luck. It's going to be a long time before you unlock anything, but that's fine. The game is free to play. I didn't expect everything to be available day one. That being said, each of the characters are unique in playstyle, they have unique abilities, and yes, you heard that right, they have unique abilities. We have one that can go invisible, you have another one that can track enemies, you have another one that can fire down mortars, smoke grenades, you name it. There's pretty much a character for it. Hell, there's even a character that can throw a toxic gas bomb that allows you to take even more damage than you normally would. So, all in all, the variety of choices that you have, the variety of characters, the gameplay, the weapons, it's all there and it's a lot of fun to play. Once you've found the character that you like, then it's pretty awesome. It's a weird choice that the game doesn't allow a single player outing or a duo outing. It's a free player affair only. So I am hoping that they do change this at a later date because at times I did want to go in solo and it simply wasn't possible. At least I couldn't find the option. With that said, free players isn't bad, but it's just no choice and I would like that choice. The world that you're playing in is pretty much Titanfall inspired. It is a Titanfall led world. So the moment you jump in, when you're climbing up walls, you can immediately see that this is a respawn game within the Titanfall universe. However, there is no grappling. Well, technically there is with one of the characters, but essentially not all characters will have that ability. But climbing up walls is a thing and you can climb up higher than you normally could from other games. So that being said, they have tried to stick to their roots as much as possible while maintaining the balance of Battle Royale. Each of the characters are strong against others and weak against others. So there is a fine balance here akin to Overwatch, which is awesome. So you're never in a position where you feel that the game is unfair. If you're good, you're going to get kills. If you suck, you're not going to get killed. Probably the greatest feature for me is the ping system. Now this may seem like a completely basic feature. However, it changes the complete scope of how you play. You can ping any item or location on the map. Now, what do I mean like this? So much like in Blackout, Fortnite, you can set a destination marker. This is called ping. Now, this is in every game. All Respawn have done here is just renamed it, right? Cool. However, they go one step further. You can ping enemies to identify their locations for your other two teammates to be able to take out. You can also ping items that you find in the world. So if you find a backpack, you can ping the backpack and the other two players will see that there's a backpack there that you can collect. You can ping weapons, you can ping grenades. Anything that's actually collectible or attackable can be pinged. And this is and this fundamentally changes the way you play. So when you're running into a house and you see a backpack, cool, I've already got one, ping it. The other two teammates that need a backpack can come and collect it. Same for armor. You see an enemy that's running behind you, ping it. Even if they kill you at that point, your teammates can see where the enemy is and it stays on them and then they have the option to ping that enemy as well so they keep focus on the enemy for a set duration. It's a really, really intuitive and great feature. It also has a firing range, which is beautiful. If you're struggling like me to get your shots in, this is perfect for you to go in, try all the weapons and hone your skills. It's just really, really awesome that Respawn not only innovated with a battle royale system with their abilities and this pinging system, but they've also added a firing range for you to go into 
and test each weapon to see which one you prefer. You can also test each character to make sure you finally find the one that you're looking for. The games range up to around 20-25 minutes. The last game I played I, I came second and my playtime was around 22 minutes so, so they do last quite a while and this is generally because of the map size. The map size for this game is pretty big. You jump down in 20 groups of 3 so 60 players. I think the game could definitely benefit from another 30 players but with that said I don't know how their servers are going to be able to hack it. There is a lot going on and at the same time there is nothing going and this is the my gripe for Apex Legends and I do hope the developers hear this I hope Respawn listen to this and maybe at some point they can actually fix this. On the PlayStation 4 a number of games I jumped into we jumped into with 15 groups which means 45 players which meant that the world was pretty empty. Now even with 60 players I can still see the population of the world map not being that populated. There was a lot of times where we just stood around checking our left and our right waiting for people to turn up that never turned up. Then eventually two or three groups turn up, kill you and you're back at the beginning. It removes the whole immersion and I think this is bad for the game. I think Fortnite also suffers from this problem with the big map. Blackout I think gets it perfect. Blackout when you jump in you're pretty much in the firefight as soon as you get going. No matter where you're going, there's always going to be a firefight and you're pretty much in the thick of it. This also enables you to actually improve your skill and get better at the game. Currently my problem with Apex Legends is that when I'm looting from house to house looking for weapons and armor and backpacks and grenades and things like this, I'm not engaged in combat. So when I do engage eventually in combat, it's over so quickly I don't gain any real experience. So the better players are actually getting better and the worst players are actually getting worse. And I think that balance hasn't been found just yet with Apex Legends, but I think a bit of tweaking, increasing the number of players can definitely get to that point. We just need to be engaging faster and we need the maps to be a little more populated. But that is basically my only gripe with this game at the moment. And though some people may see that as a massive gripe, I don't see it as a deal breaker. What sets Apex Legends apart from Blackout, from PUBG and from Fortnite is the fact that it's got skills, it's got talents and it's got abilities that allow you to do things. There's a character who if shot gains the ability as a passive skill to run faster for 2-3 seconds and it's extremely useful when you're just running around corners or trying to get away from the person. Another one puts up a semi barrier when they're aiming. Again, really handy and gives you that defensive edge when you need to. These are just passive perks. You've got others that do other things and it's really, really cool. And for someone like me who likes the usage of abilities and being able to do stuff outside of the norm of a military shooter that can actually aid in combat, I think this is pretty damn awesome. So for me, my first impressions of Apex Legends is a thumbs up. There is room for improvement, especially with the population of the map. But other than that, I think they're off to a solid start. The game is free to play. It's available on Xbox Live, PlayStation Network and PC right now. So if you haven't played it, go outside and play it. You need to make sure you go into the options and check your usage settings. It's currently set to on, which does mean it fails the GDPR. However, um, I believe there's a patch coming soon from what I've read. That's going to basically set this to off as default so if you are worried about it right now before the patch comes out just go into the options when you first start playing and turn it off and you're fine that's pretty much all i have for this right now i do want to look into it a bit more and if we get enough traction here on the channel i will do that i will go through the characters and stuff like this and bring you more in-depth footage but all in all i think respawn have done a fantastic job yes the game is funded by microtransactions it's a free to play game that's a no-brainer so that shouldn't be a deal breaker with that said thank you for watching and if you did enjoy this video leave a thumbs up subscribe don't forget to share and hopefully uh, if this gets enough traction and if there's enough demand in the comment section i'll continue making these videos for apex legends until next time in true apex legend fashion remain legend <laughs>